if they're legal warriors. Now, it's not quite the golden rule, but I think it is a big rule that listening is important. We've been told that uh, throughout school, probably for our jobs. And in this video, I'm going to cover why it is so important that we also listen while we are in a courtroom. If you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Fryer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years by putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. I wanted to talk about listening. And that sort of seems trite or, or why do I care about listening? But you might find it interesting to figure out what you can learn in a courtroom by listening. And if you're a person that's going to court, either charged with a crime or a friend of someone charged with a crime, or you're going for a restraining order hearing, whatever type of hearing, um, I want you to listen up because there's things you can learn about how that court works and what the parties are doing. And that's gonna possibly affect the outcome in your case. And I came up with this idea because you know, sometimes we have new lawyers start in the firm. And I uh, am part of the team that trains new lawyers. And um, we call ourselves the Lance Lawyers. And at one point, I had a new attorney that really wasn't cutting it. And I put together how to be a Lance Lawyer. It sort of sounds stupid, but it made me think about um, how I do things in court. And so how I do things in court, if you go to court, uh, you can maybe use some of those same skills. So here's what I think about. Here's what I told my team. Um, I told my team that um, if you're in court with a client, I don't want you sitting next to the client the whole time and just read, looking at your phone. I want you paying attention to what's going on. And that goes true for you as somebody in court, be it a person who is charged with a crime or they're just there for moral support, whatever. Here's what you can learn. Well, number one, you can listen to other cases that are like yours, right? Um, hey, do you have a suspended license case and you just heard the prosecutor talking to a defense attorney saying, I'm going to dismiss, uh, I'll dismiss the case if your client gets relicensed. Ooh, well, maybe that means if you get relicensed, you can get your case dismissed, right? Um, you can hear about, uh, you know, uh, what's going on between the judge and the prosecutor. If you see the judge is uh, you know, upset with the prosecutor that they're uh, you know doing things wrong, well, uh, because maybe they're um, you know not moving cases fast enough. Now you may know that hey, I might have to get stuff done more quickly uh, because I may have less time in my case based upon how this judge is behaving. Let's say you're there for a protection order case, uh, some type of restraining order case, and you are seeing how the hearings are going in front of you. Like pay attention to the hearings are front in front of you because you're gonna see how the parties interact. Is the judge uh, listening to a person when they say a certain type of thing or are they upset when they say a certain type of thing? Maybe now you know a little more how you should behave in front of that court to get a more favorable ruling, right? I don't want you to waste your time in court if you can avoid it just by tuning out and looking at your phone and things like that like that. It's important to listen. It's also important to listen in court to uh, what um, the court clerks are saying, right? If you have uh, a court case where there's going to be another court date, well, listen up to what court dates they're setting, right? Look at your calendar because the, it's really uh, unfortunate when your attorney goes up there and moves to continue the case and every case has been set for April 14th and it looks good on their calendar, and you never checked yours, then you see you're out of town on April 14th, and now we've got a big problem, right? So, you know, listen up. I just want you to be proactive because you are part of the solution to your situation, right? If you have a good attorney, they're going to be doing a lot of this for you, but this is about you in court with your friend or your own case or whoever using your listening skills to learn what you can in the case. I think... Um, you can also listen to what's going on between uh, other attorneys. Uh, you'll naturally hear stuff between attorneys and clients. Um, 
you, you, if you don't have an attorney, you may listen up to what the other attorneys are saying to see, hey, is there someone that they seem to know what they're talking about? Are they talking about things that you might be able to do to help your case? A lot goes on in the courtroom. Um, and if, uh, if you're in a situation where you don't have an attorney, um, you are allowed to talk to the prosecutor. I don't want you to talk about your case to the prosecutor, but you know you can. You have a licensing case. You might be able to ask them, "Hey, what happens uh, to my case?" Or um, "Can I? What happens if I get relicensed?" Stuff like that. So just listen and use those listening skills to help yourself get ahead in your case. I don't want you to talk about the facts of your, your case in court because whatever you say can be used against you. But listening never hurts right? Pay attention. Use that big brain of yours to figure out how what you're seeing going on can help your case and relates to your case. And then you will get ahead compared to the person that just looks at their phone or just looks down and isn't paying attention to what's going on. Remember, you're part of the solution to the situation. So I know this video is a bit simple, but I hope you found it useful. If so, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need. More importantly, if you have a criminal case or a restraining order type case in Washington State and you need some help, feel free to give my office a call. We'll listen to what happened. We'll identify a way forward and we will be there for you. Thank you.